Fugate rolling to the left. He's got a lot of room. 10-5. He's going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown. Central Missouri scores, and they lead it 6-0 with a drive there. 11 plays, 86 yards, and a 13-yard touchdown run by Garrett Fugate. Harris takes, gives Latu. Michael Latu. Touchdown. Harding. And the Bison's an extra point away from tying the football game, and Harding answers the Central Missouri drive with a drive of their own, a 10-play drive that covered 68 yards. At the Bison, 27, Fugate takes, looking, Fugate, pressure coming, Fugate rolling right, and the crowd wanted a hold, they'll not get it, firing, it is complete at the 10 at the 5, touchdown for Central Missouri. They hit the man out of the backfield, Markel McNack into the end zone for the touchdown. Parrish toss right side, Simmons cuts it inside, spins, dives, touchdown! Harding with 11.23 left in the first half. The Bisons trail 14-13. This will be a 29-yard attempt. Placement is down, the kick is on its way. Play a leg, and the kick is good. So Central Missouri is taking the lead back once again. 17-14 on a 29-yard field goal. Tanks he'll keep. Parrish right side to the one. Parrish diving. Touchdown, Touchdown Harding. How did he get in there? Great job. Touchdown Harding and the Bisons have taken the lead for the first time today. 20-17 to with 2.09 left until halftime. Play fake. Looking. Steps. Fires. End zone. Touchdown Central Missouri. Complete to Jalen Zachary. And now Central Missouri leads 23-21 with 42 seconds left until halftime. So here is the kickoff, high kick, fielded Bassett at the eight yard line. Bassett across the 20, has a seam left side, 30, 35, 40, Corey Bassett midfield, Corey Bassett to the 40, to the 30, it's a foot race to the 10, to the five, touchdown Harding! 29 <laughs> seconds Great. left in the half, and Corey Bassett Word. has answered with a kickoff return, and the Bisons lead right before the end of the half. Oh, how great is it? Placement is down. The kick is oh. blocked. The Bisons block the kick and cover it up, and the half ends on a blocked field goal. And look at the celebration on the sideline. Pass over the middle, and this is going to be a touchdown for Central Missouri. A little slant, and the pass was a little bit behind Eccles, who adjusted well to it, and then once he caught it, he was home free. He caught it about the 10-yard line, and then was able to get into the end zone. And Central Missouri has come out and taken the lead now, 30-28, to with 8.36 left here in the third quarter. Parrish takes, toss right side, Simmons. Simmons has Kimberlin in front of him, gets to the 15, to the 10. He's at the 5, touchdown, Harding! Great call, great execution. Eric Simmons got a very good block on the right side and then into the end zone, made a great move, and the Bisons now have claimed the lead right back at 34-31. Here is Parrish, keeps. Parrish, first down, 35-30, angling right, 20. Back to the left at the 10, at the 5, touchdown, Harding! And the Bisons with a big score there, lead it 41-31 with 135 left in the third quarter, 41 yards, Park Parrish. Play fake, pumping, looking, loose football, it's knocked free, the Bisons have it, Dana Skidmore has it. Knocked free from behind, the Bisons get a big turnover at the 38 yard line, up by 10 with 29 seconds left in the third quarter. Parrish throwing on third down, completed midfield, to the 40, to the 30, Dather to the 20, to the 10, touchdown Harding, 81 yards, Park yeah. Parrish to Andrew Dather, <laughs> and it might have dropped the hammer with 10-16 oh, I don't know if it did or not, but it sure did help. 12 and 0, the Bisons. Ronnie Huckabee, his team in 2016 with the Bisons' first ever NCAA playoff victory as they win today by a final score of 48 to 31 over Central Missouri. And they'll play next week in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. What a historic day here today for the Bisons. I'm very blessed to get to coach a bunch of young men that are like my sons and uh, we have a tremendous love for each other in this culture and uh, we're blessed with great leadership on this football team. We have 24 seniors 
I've said this many, a time, many times in interview situations that in January, the senior class took control of this football team and they've had control of it since then as far as the expectation, the accountability, uh, the way we work. We have a tremendous work ethic in our program. And the culmination of that has been 12 and 0. Uh, and so we are, we are all blessed to be where we are right now. And we're trying our best to uh, be humble about our success, but continue to be hungry as we go forward. And, and that takes us to Sioux Falls. I've always wanted to go to South Dakota. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're looking forward to this trip uh, this weekend. Uh, you know, we're going to get to spend Thanksgiving break together this week. And we're so excited about it. Uh, we'll have a big Thanksgiving meal Tuesday night because we may we may be traveling out on Thursday. Don't know for sure, but there's a good chance of that. And uh, I can't think of a better holiday than for us to get to be together, working on a round two playoff game, and the opportunity to travel to Sioux Falls and play an outstanding football team that's 12-0 in addition to us.